Okay, let's do training mission number four, night ILS landing. So, first let's pause here. So, uh, it's night and we're basically, we're starting basically at the, basically at the same position we, we started with mission number three. So here is Kunsan Air Base and we're gonna do an ILS landing. Actually its uh, visibility is pretty good so we, we could easily do a, a normal VIFR uh, landing but we're gonna practice ILS. So the ILS instrument landing system consists of basically two beams. One is the, uh, the localizer uh, that's um, that's gonna guide us towards the, the runway center line and that's um, the vertical uh, bar and the, the horizontal um, emitter uh, it's the glide slope and it's gonna uh, glide or, or, or guide our airplane aircraft down to the runway it's gonna be three degrees so it's a bit steeper than our normal 2.5 degrees um, glide slope. So, uh, let's set everything up, turn on the lights and have a look. So, there's our flight plan and here we have a chart of Kunsan ILS 36. This is our runway and we're gonna do an ILS approach. So basically, normally you would come here at Wolf and then fly at the NEARC. At Julep you're gonna intercept the uh, the, loca uh, the localizer and fly at 2800 feet and then you're gonna uh, intercept once you're on the glide on the on the localizer so you're uh, aligned with the runway you're gonna intercept the glide slope and and follow the glide slope down until we are landing so right now we are around here at Chulop and we are at 2200 feet so a bit too low that's okay and we're gonna continue straight until uh, we uh, intercept the localizer uh, the, the glide slope and then we're gonna follow down um, there's a lot of uh, important information on the chart so first off we have the frequency of the ILS that's 110.3 uh, we have our Tekken channel of Kunsan Tekken that's 75 X ray. Uh, we have the frequencies of um, of the airbase. We have the localizer, so that's 356, also here 356, so that's the direction of the runway and the localizer. And we have the minima, that's also important. So here we have 210 feet uh, minimum for ILS or 200 feet above ground level. So if I'm hitting 210 feet, if I'm down to 210 feet somewhere here, somewhere here, and I don't see the runway because it's such a bad weather, then I have to go around and I have to do a missed approach. So I'm flying here. This is the missed approach. Yes, missed approach. So climb ahead uh, until DMA3 or reaching 2000 feet and then right climbing turn towards Dolce here. And then I would start again and try again or maybe go to another airfield where the weather is better. So this is our decision height, or I think it's called like that. It's the minimum, it's 210 feet. Okay, so now we're gonna enter all that into our nice little plane. So we have a checklist for that. I have there it is. Okay, so first ILS power and volume check on and as desired. So here is our ILS volume. If it's like that, it's turned off and it won't function, so we have to turn it on. Next, DD select TILS page. DD select TILS page. Here we are. That's our TILS page, and here we have ILS on. If I turn it off, this reads ILS off and it ain't gonna function. So we make sure this is on. Check. Uh, ILS frequency enter TL, ILS frequency and enter. So our ILS frequency is 110.3. Actually, it's already here, but let's still nevertheless enter it. 110.3, enter. And as it's a, a ILS frequency, it automatically jumps the scratch pad to the course. 
and the course is uh, 356 it's also here but let's enter is 356 enter course setting enter approach course command string check mode selected so here's the command string that's the command uh, steering queue we can turn that off and on with select now it's off now it's on and we're gonna have a look how that looks that's very very practical so we get a command steering queue here and if you follow that uh, circle that uh, uh, is visible in the heart we're just gonna go down the ILS perfectly so that's set next HSI set inbounds localizer course so we are going 356 let's enter that in the HSI wrong direction 356 so this is this is our um, uh, the localizer course so we s we are already see we're a bit to the right to that uh, um, and now that's important instrument mode knob ILS Tekken or ILS NAV so we used to have the, bu the, bu the switch here so now it's this is an el electronic HSI so we're gonna do that with the button here the mode button Zack. PLS that's precision landing system that's exactly what we want we have NAV so it's to a um, steer point here steer point somewhere here and precision getting landing system we got so Tekken then it's pointing to the Tekken but we want it to the NAV so now several things occurred first we have the ILS bars on the ADI so basically this is our island we can fly totally just with this so we're seeing that we're just to the left side um, of the localizer and way below the glide slope and this is fine because basically we are somewhere here so the glide slope is above us and so basically we are a bit about a bit here a bit to the left of the of uh, the, the localizer and also on the HUD we have the same we have the ILS bars and here this little circle this is our command steering key so let's I could turn it off let's put it zack now it's gone but well, let's let's uh, display it because it's very useful and we're gonna use it so uh, we see that the we want to have these two centered and on our flight path markers so right now we are a bit to the right uh, to the left of the localizer and way below um, the glide slope and if it's dashed then it means that it's more than five degrees uh, because every uh, little tick here is 2.5 so this would be 2.5 this would be 5 but as it's dashed it's even more than 5 degrees down right now we just have that little circle so this is our command steering queue we're gonna follow that and right now it's only vertical uh, only horizontal information so just left or right because we're way uh, below the glide slope and once we get into the range of the glide slopes like 5 degrees then this circle gonna get a little um, solid rectangle uh, on its top and then it's uh, it will guide us vertically and uh, horizontally horizontally and vertically so also uh, up and down okay so what else is to do um, let's put that to auto that tonight let's turn down the display a bit yes yes the minimum right so let's enter the minimum into our hello so we're gonna enter that into a, a minimum safe level floor it's what it is it's 210 feet so that uh, assures that if we are hitting 210 feet we're gonna get a warning from Beach and Betty altitude altitude and then we have to look and if we don't see the, the runway by that time we just have to uh, make a missed approach and uh, start climbing and try again or divert to a better airfield okay so I think we are set here good then let's start and let's ask the Kunsan approach for a unrestricted approach because otherwise we would have to start all over again and we have we already set the tulip so it's unrestricted approach for us so let's unpause 
Uh, let's call uh, Kunsan approach. Kunsan approach. Uh, goblin tree request unre unrestricted approach. Let's slow down a bit. Good morning, Goblin. 3 1. Turn sound approach. Continue in now. The straight in approach. Runway 36. Welcome back. Q in H2973. Goblin 3 1. Contact tower for landing. Switch to 29230. Okay. Um, I'm pausing again, so we gonna, we have been cleared for tower. They have turned on the lights for us, that's very nice, but if you don't ask, approach, and you won't get lights. So now we have runway lights, there's the runway, and as we are um, coming closer to the glide slope, you see that it's now solid, uh, the ILS bar is now solid of the glide slope, and it's not very visible here, our uh, command steering queue now has this little rectangle, so it's guiding us vertically and horizontally and we have here this uh, V mark that's uh, showing us the proper hand heading for our runway so let's uh, uh, switch to tower and then continue uh, Kunsan tower goblin tree for landing Goblin 31, Kunsan Tower, continue inbound for runway 36, report on final. Okay, and I'm gonna slow down, keep it around, oh, it's too much, around like 200 knots, and now we're finally getting there. You see, actually, you can see here, we see the, the rectangle. Let's go back there. Okay, intercepting the glide slope now. Let's uh, put out the boards. Uh, below 305 knots, that's important, and let's extend the gear. Three greens, very nice. Let's turn off the lights, that's two. Uh, better. Okay, so now we have also our. Let's pause again. We also have our uh, angle of attack bracket that we're gonna need for the final approach. We have our altitudes, and we are following. Um, the glide slope. Let's unpause. Uh, it can get it can get a bit uh, crowded in the HUD, so I can uh, if I press the uncage button, I can hide and unclutter my my view. So let's follow the put the thing on the thing, get my flight path marker on the command steering queue. Just following it down. Okay, let's display the wind. Uh, check that drift is in norm, everything's fine. And a bit higher. A bit more power. Not to get too slow. There we go. 400 feet. Let's call final. Goblin 3, Goblin three one Kunsan Tower wing three two zero at eight knots altitude. runway three six altitude. cleared for landing check gear down. So pitch and body colors altitude altitude I hope you hit it and we can see it so we can actually switch to um, visual now and we have to switch to visual now if we end the minimum. Uh, let's flare a bit and get her down flare. Uh, down. Error braking. 30 degrees. Let's uncage again. Oppa, not too much. Rather to keep it on the center line. Below 100 knots, and let's fall down. Cushion it a bit with the stick. Full extended speed brakes. Uh, toe brakes. Let's exit here. Uh. 
Goblin 31, contact low. Switch to 73525. Let's switch to ground. Kunsan ground, Goblin 3, uh, request taxi to the ramp. Oh, wrong frequency. Ha! Ground is 2. Kunsan ground, Goblin 3, request taxi to, uh, taxi to the ramp. Goblin 3-1, taxi to the ramp. You're cleared all the way in. steering. Okay. So that's it. Uh, we just followed the command steering queue and at minimum we switched to VFR and just landed it. So, and now we're gonna try this with a heads down view just with the ILS bars on the ADI. Okay, now let's do the same in heads down view. Let's pause here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a nice view. Ah, uh, that's good. Oh, let's just set up everything. Um, here's the chart. Here is the checklist some lights so um ls power volume on the the ls page and the ls frequency is already set and uh, the curse setting it's already set command steering selected hsi set inbound course 356 six uh, instrument note knob select peel is enough we're here with the bars and we're gonna enter um oops uh, not at all go back we're gonna enter our minimum 210 feet one two one zero enter let's display the wind okay this to auto, this to night. DD a bit down, lights down. Good. Okay, and now I'm gonna find a nice view. This looks good. And I'm gonna. Oh, yes. So I disabled track IR so I can move my head. And uh, this is all we're gonna see. And, hmm, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. And at. Uh, 210 feet, uh, Bitch and Betty gonna call us, and we're gonna look out of the window and <laughs> hope we see the runway and don't crash. So, let's start. Um, unpause. Uh, let's call tower. Uh, Goblin 2, uh, Kunsan approach. Goblin 3, uh, request unrestricted approach. Goblin 3 1, Unisound approach. Continue in now, a straight in approach. Runway 36, welcome back. QNH 2973. Goblin 3 1, contact tower for landing. Switch to 29230. 29230. That's R3. Enter. Kunsan Tower, Goblin 3, uh, request landing. Goblin 31, Kunsan Tower, continue inbound 4, runway 36, report on final. Okay, so let's pause here. I'm just flying this. Here's my uh, airspeed, altitude, uh, uh, vertical velocity, angle of attack, and here's my direction. And I got wind, we got 35, 3, 3, 2, 5 knots. So from here, so it's gonna push us a bit to the right. So we may, might have to offset a little bit to the left. And you see that the uh, glide slope bar is coming down. And I'm, if it's 
if it's uh, if we when we when we intercept it, I'm gonna um, lower the gear and uh, extend the speed brakes. So let's unpause a bit to the right. Let's. Sinking too fast here. So now there it is. Okay. Speed brakes. Gear. Oh, that looks good. Let's keep it like that. Bit to the left. Bit higher. low getting down too quickly let's increase angle attack oh we'll so okay better oh yeah yeah way too low now up, 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 up. Altitude. Altitude. Ha! Ha! Oi! I was so happy that I was well aligned, but a bit too low, so let's. Land her normally. Oh, I think that counts. Okay. And a bit of a flare. Down. Oh, hoppy hop. We're down. Oh, I forgot to call final. Ha! Yes, yeah, sorry. Sorry. I have to practice that more often. So in the end, I got really low. And I was so happy that I, I had, um, I was pretty good aligned, I think, but I was too low. So let's exit here. Goblin three one contact low switch two seven three five two five. Whew. Contact ground. Ah, I'm stupid. Contact ground. Uh, Kunsan ground. Goblin three request taxi uh, back to the ramp. Goblin 3 1, taxi back to the ramp. You're cleared all the way in. Okay. Good. We didn't crash. Night ILS landing. Check.